What's up guys and welcome back. So in this video I've been sent the Spartan Nostalgia Ring by this company and I've been asked to make something similar. Now before I get into this build I'll show some of their work up on screen as well as the one I've been sent. Well made with a variety of different styles all made in stainless steel offer an alternative to the more pricey precious metal based rings. If you want to check out their full collection click on the link below or in the card in the top right hand corner. And if you do decide to make a purchase, you can save 20% by using the code FIRE20. So for this project, I'm using this 2mm thick sheet of sterling silver, as well as an additional strip for the ring shank. I'll start by making a cross to act as a central guide and start to implement the dimensions of the original piece onto the silver sheet. The markings don't need to be perfect as they only act as a guide. After establishing the key points, I'll join them together with a series of dots. I then line the strip of silver up against the edge to determine where the shank will be fitted. And then continue marking the outline. With the outline marked, we can then pierce out what we don't need. Once pierced, I then take a burr and start to shape the ring. I take off the protective layer which was getting in the way and then switch to a diamond cylinder burr which worked great for this ring shape.
With the inside details done, I then focus on filing the outer edges. Once I'm happy with how everything lines up, I solder one end of the silver strip to the main piece. Once soldered, I then start to bend the metal, which, given its thickness, was no easy task. It takes a few attempts of bending and annealing to get the two sides to meet. I then mark off any excess and remove it so it can fit me. And then solder it in place. Once soldered, I can then hammer it on a mandrel to give it its ring shape. and then go about filing the joints flat. I take some 500 grit emery paper and go around the entire ring making sure everything is smooth. Clean up the inside details. And then mark out some dents and scratches to give it its final look. and then go over the ring with a satin wheel. And here is the finished item. I'm very happy with how it all came together and when next to the original, the shape and size are very similar. And I've done my own thing on the surface. And that's it. If you like the look of the ring I've been given, be sure to check them out and see what else they have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.